Hello, 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 Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp, Cross Watchers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Tiaka Love, y'all. Um, how are you all doing? Okay, so it is time for me to get you all some messages for the week of May the 13th through the 26th. If you are new here, we do love energy readings, okay? We do, um, we pick up on energy here, okay? In regards to love, all right? Um, hopefully you find some messages here that will be helpful. If you are returning, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Thank y'all for returning. Hopefully you'll find some messages here that will be helpful to you all as well. Okay? Please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then please do just leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, y'all. So I got your overall energy of your connection from now until May the 20th, all right? And we get your overall energy. Then we're going to see what's going on in the connection. We're going to clarify, get you all some confessions, see how your person feel about what is going on in the connection, and then end it off with some advice, all right? Okay, y'all, so let's get started. Overall energy of your connection. You got, it's a vibe here. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, okay? So, you want to enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. Alright, so the energy that is surrounding you and your love interest is a lot of positive energy, a lot of great vibes. It is the perfect vibe here. Okay, so let's uh, see what's going on in the connection. Okay, so let's get some messages for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp for the week of May the 13th through the 20th when it comes to love messages. Okay, okay, we got comfort here. All right, so you're feeling a lot of comfort here with this person. You have avoidance here. So someone in this connection pretty much is maybe trying to avoid some things. All right, um, we got illusion. So you could be in some type of illusion. Maybe your person is in some type of illusion. Maybe someone here is trying to see, is this actually this vibe that I'm feeling, this comfort that I'm feeling, is this actually the one? All right, and let's get one more message for you all. Okay, you got healing here. So there is a lot of healing that is taking place between you and this person. Maybe you're helping this person to heal. Uh, maybe they are helping you to heal. Well, it's 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 a mutual, okay? So let's uh, clarify this energy here on the table. Tell us more about this. It's a vibe between Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp, and their love interest. You got discovery, all right? So they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down. Left them feeling powerless and trapped, all right? So even though it's a vibe here between you and this person, something has like come up from the... Um, um, come up to the surface, okay? This turned one of you all's reality upside down here, okay? So uh, let's see. Let's look at this comfort. Tell us more about this comfort. All right, y'all. Hold on. Okay, tell us more about this comfort for Sagittarius Capricorn. Because, all right, you got the fight here, okay? So their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love, all right? So just know that when it comes to, um, I guess, this feeling that you want to feel comfortable here with this person, they are overcoming their fears of love, okay? So let's look at the avoidance. Tell us more about this avoidance. You got lustful desires, all right? So someone here is no longer um, 
giving in to their lustful desires, all right? There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. You want to overcome the spirit of lust, okay? So it looks like um, maybe the masculine energy here is trying to overcome uh, these lustful desires, okay, when it comes to others, all right? So let's look at this illusion. You got frequent frequency here. Okay, so they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. All right, so your person is starting to align with the frequency of love here. All right, so they're coming out of maybe they, it's almost like maybe to them you are almost like too good to be true. So they're really trying to. Fight off temptations and really trying to um, do what it takes to maybe build something here with you, okay? So let's look at the healing. All right, with this healing, you got resurrection. So what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. All right, so someone is trying to, you know... Resurrect something here within this connection. Okay, so let's get some confessions. Let's see. What do your person want to say about this comfort and the fight here? When I said I love when I said I love you forever I meant it. All right, so when they spoke them words to you when they said I love you forever They meant it here. Okay, um, or this could be your energy. All right, um, and now let's look at the avoidance with the lustful desires. So you changed up and that triggers me. All right. So someone here in this connection probably wanted more than just um, the passion and the love making. Okay. So this could have triggered here your person. All right. So the illusion with the frequency. Uh, just know that I am sorry. So your person want to apologize to you, maybe for some things that was said or done, okay, towards you. All right. Now the healing and the resurrection. Okay. So I tend to look at your social media pages, waiting on signs to connect with you. All right. So um, I guess they they checking you out on your social media pages. They trying to see. When it will be a great opportunity for them to kind of um, start something over here with you, okay? They feel like that you will, you got this 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 great positive energy with coming from within, and they're really enjoying this energy here that you have. Is what I'm getting here, okay? Now let's keep going, y'all. Let's clarify more. Okay, tell us more about this comfort, the fight. Oh, all right. So you have star crossed here. Okay. So maybe you and this person is okay. It's the, the two of you want to be together. All right. This is star crossed is saying that it's two people that want to be together, but it might be someone in the outskirts that is trying to prevent this from happening, okay? You also got Gemini here. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a Gemini or um, just someone that hmm, is maybe checking you out from behind the scenes here. That's what I'm getting with this Gemini energy, okay? It's like, uh, I see you, okay? All right, but you don't see me because I got masks on both sides. I don't, okay, so let's keep going, y'all. Let's look at this avoidance with the lustful desires and you change stuff and it triggers me. You got the night here, okay? So you could have been dealing with this person that you're dealing with. Could be, um, it could have a very tough exterior. Um, someone who maybe don't verbalize how they feel much and someone who is kind of blocking themselves off from actually um, emotionally connecting here. Okay, so let's look at the illusion with the frequency and just know that I am sorry. You got lover here. All right, so 
this is a lover this is someone that when you all come together there's a lot of very passionate energy here between you two but with this lover and the illusion maybe um, the passion between you two is causing someone to be in some type of illusion here not really able to see clearly okay so let's look at the healing with the resurrection all right, you got dancer. Okay, so maybe your person was dancing around the situation. Maybe dancing around conversation here. Uh, maybe you could be a dancer or, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so let's keep going, y'all. Mm -mm. All right, let's clarify here this comfort and the fight. Okay, you got divine masculine. So it's the divine and masculine. It's the masculine energy here that is really trying to, um, really trying to um, fight for this connection. Okay, the masculine energy here. All right. So let's see the lustful desires with the avoidance. You got hurtful words here. So you want to make sure you watch your words. Maybe there were um, conversations that you and this person had that uh, got very heated, and there was some things said. So then someone kind of put a blockage up where they won't uh, be able to feel. So we just want to make sure you watch our words as you communicate how you feel and what you are expecting and what you are desiring okay so let's look at the illusion with the lover and just know that i am sorry you got yes here all right so this is energetically um so yes here okay all right let's look at that one let's tell me more about this yes please all right, retreat. So it's time to walk away to go find yourself. So it could be time for your person um, or someone to just have some time alone so maybe you can clear your energy field and you'll be able to vibrate on a on the a love frequency here. Okay. Now the healing with the dancer and the resurrection. You got to fix it. Okay, so sit down and communicate. All right, so you all could be having a conversation within this week in regards to the connection and uh, about what's going on here. Okay, so let's see. How is your person feeling or what are the feelings here? What are the feelings here? Okay, let's put one on the lustful desires. Let's see. I'm going to that up. All right, and tell us about the illusion. What are the feelings here with this retreat and the illusion? And now the healing. Okay. All right, y'all. So with this comfort, I know you have other choices. I know this. I do too, but no one else even comes close to you. I want you. Do you still want me? So it could be divine masculine here that wants to know. Um... They realize that the both of you have choices. Um, oh, but this is uh, the feminine energy. Okay, it says divine masculine. Fem both of y'all want to know the same thing, maybe. Okay, all right. So, um, right here, feminine energy here again with the hurtful words. I want to make things fair between us. I do. I realize I was selfish. I do see your value. You don't have to prove it. I get it. Okay, so feminine energy here want the person to know that you do see a person value okay now it's a lot of femininity um now with the illusion i know you are my counterpart i do i want to be able to come to you with my whole self this is why i am silent i am working on it and on me this causes me pain too okay so that could be the cause of uh the retreat here and the illusion someone is trying to really figure out um you know where you stand here okay and with the healing I left because I thought it would be best for me to do so for the both of us. But I miss you. Okay. All right. So now let's get some advice, you all. Let's get some advice when it comes to this comfort. Okay. So you have faith. 
this is a destined partnership all right so this is a destined partnership and you have new love so there's a new love or a recommitment to love that is developing here okay so with your lust with this avoidance and the lustful desires you got guilt so someone is feeling guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words that is hindering this situation, okay? So um, I guess we have to forgive and so we can move forward, all right? So with the illusion here and the frequency, you have reconciliation. So re the return of a past soulmate, okay? So someone could be returning from the past, um... Or you all could be reconciling with uh, this person, all right? All right, now with the healing, what advice do we have? You have acceptance. So you have to accept the fact that everything happens for a reason, okay? All right, y'all, so these are your messages. I really hope that they will be helpful. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all. If you all are missing me here on YouTube, uh, you can go check me out on Facebook, Tierka Love, uh, Instagram, Tierka underscore Love. I'm on TikTok, y'all. Love to dance. We'll be dancing on TikTok. T uh, Tierra for Love, period, with two T's, okay? Um, I do have my candle shop set up on Facebook. These candles here that I have here, they are for sale. So, um, y'all, if y'all interested, just let me know. But, y'all, I salute the divinity in you. I am sending you so much love, so much light, so much positivity. Uh, I will see you next time, okay? Bye.